Hi everybody, this is Daniel. So today we are looking at DAP. So as I was about to finalize the video, I came across this very interesting download manager. It's called Download Accelerator Plus. Then it's a DAP 10. So it's actually a version 10. Uh, what's so special about it is that you know the last release date was like 2014. So I'm not sure if it's still applicable at this age. And what is nice about it is that there's a free version and there's a premium version and you can use the free version for free and the speed wise there's some boost if you were to buy the paid version so uh, we shall test how good is the uh, free version now so I'm installing the free version so I think the only downside is that it's only for Windows uh, so that's the only downside the rest I think is pretty okay uh, it takes me quite a while to understand. It does not have the interface for you to install the add-ons. You have to Google search yourself in order to install the add-ons. So we're gonna download it. So, okay. Why is it down there? Oh my god. Okay. I shall configure it with my alarm clock as well. I thought I had it just now. Like okay, I'll pause this video and try to set it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just realized it's not the ordinary download you have to do it like all the download manager so all of these are not very intuitive like the internet download manager but uh, I mean we are looking at free solutions so definitely these are things that we have to compromise and live with it so let's gonna restart and play oh okay I haven't, I haven't save it so yep gonna save it and play okay I think the speed is relatively good and they mentioned that the sort of like the free ones okay have support up to maybe like five connection whereas the paid one has 10 connections and I can see that it is actually hitting 10 megabytes per second so uh, it's definitely about the same as other provider have so far yeah, so I'm gonna pause this video while we are waiting for uh, them to download finish. Okay, that's cool, and I think the application is pretty honest. The time is about the same 1 minute 38 seconds. You know, there are other tools where I think the copier tool uh, where they are not honest, and I don't know how they calculate the time, it's like inaccurate time. So it takes about 1 minute 38 seconds. It's definitely better than Internet Download Manager. And. How to say, the features are slightly less, although it looks pretty much the same. This is how it looks like. Okay, so it looks like the IDM where we have, and then there's an advertisement right there. Yeah. Okay. So next, we are gonna see uh ways to actually check and download videos. So I'm gonna go to the drama website. And I'm gonna pause this site and try to see and examine myself how it works. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't have the add-on, so I'm just gonna try to do the download by doing the proper, the usual save that we have. So I probably gotta delete a lot of stuff here. Ooh, ooh, wow, wow, it looks pretty fast. I like the tab option, they have the tab to do that, but it looks fast, but it is stuck. It, it, it looks stuck. Okay, so it's not even like moving. It's like, okay, it's moving, but the progress bar is not moving. So probably I'm gonna skip this and try to do it again. So I started a timer when I click on the download. So it's supposed to, to be fair because most of them I start that way. So this one has to fall in the same category. Uh, I think the speed is pretty decent but based on the experience just now I think it's unstable I think yeah it's not really really stable look at that it's stuck at 70 MB and then just wait for the rest of the connection to actually fully download it okay yeah so just gonna wait and see how much time it takes 
Okay, it takes about a minute including the lag. Well, I think they got added in the consideration. Uh, it is still pretty decent as compared to other download managers. Just that I think the interface is a bit old. They have the options to select the theme where you want to download it, whatever style. And what does the extreme do? I think you pay. Uh, acceleration on and off. Why would I want to turn off? Okay, there are situations where you need to turn off where the website doesn't allow multiple connections except for only one. And you have to obey that. So other than that, I think we have come to the end of the video. It's uh, the speed, uh, I think it's quite Im okay. But once again, it lacks the feature to download the video. So I didn't right click on the video. It doesn't have a pop up option. So their website where flash how do you right click it just happened that this website is showing a html5 video and you can actually right click to save the video but there are chances okay there are other op uh, occasions where you can't do that and this is going to be a huge impact uh, on users who like to use it but once again i'll add this into my con list of considerations and i'll determine uh, what are the options that i want and uh, look into the usability of each uh, download manager. I, I, I look into it already and there are a few sectors that I, I just discovered recently that we we missed out and we could look into it in the uh, evaluation stage. Yeah. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. That's all and goodbye. Before that, make sure you subscribe to my video and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who are interested in the download managers. So that's all and goodbye.